parts, and this problem we want to find the value of x1. Now, if we know that the ratios are directly proportional, we can use this format. So let's do so and plug in our expressions. So we have x1, which is w plus 3, divided by y1, which is 14 minus 3w, equals x, x2, which is 6, divided by y2, which is 12. Now let's simplify this expression. Our first fraction we cannot simplify, so we will rewrite it. w plus 3 divided by 14 minus 3w equals half, because we can simplify the numerator and denominator by dividing by 6. All right, so now we can cross multiply these two denominators and numerators. So we will have 2 times w plus 3 equals 1 times 14 minus 3w. Now let's use the distributive property and distribute this too. We have 2w plus 6 equals this um, distribution of 1 will not change our expression, so we can rewrite our expression as 14 minus 3w. Alright, so now we can combine like terms. We'll move all of the variables to one side and all of the numbers to the other. Okay, so now we are left with 5w equals 8. Now if we want to isolate w, we'll divide 5 on both sides, and we will get 8 over 5. Now if we turn this into mixed terms, we'll ask ourselves how many times does 5 go into 8, and that is once, with 3 left over out of 5. Now let's take our value for w and plug it into our expression x1 to find the, in the entire value of x1. So x1 equals w, and instead of w, we'll write 1 and 3 fifths plus 3. Now x1 equals the sum of these two numbers, and if we add the whole numbers first, we get 4 plus our um, fraction. So we will add our fraction 4 and 3 fifths, which will be our final answer.